This short animation is going to show you how we use one of the most important uh, techniques to monitor corrosion in, uh, in oil fields. This uh, animation here shows you uh, an oil field processing facility and the pipeline in the, in the middle is one we want to focus on and are concerned about its corrosion. Here we see a corrosion coupon which we are going to weigh. This is before we've inserted it into the pipeline so it's nice and clean and we're using a set of uh, accurate scales so we can get uh, sorry, a precise scale so we get an accurate weight measurement. So it's being weighed and typically we will use two corrosion coupons inside the pipeline at any one point so we get more reliable corrosion rates and you'll see that here. You can see the corrosion coupon is being mounted and entered into the top of the pipeline and you can see them there dangling into the pipeline. You can see in this close-up that they need to be isolated from the metal support on the pipeline itself so we avoid any galvanic corrosion. And remember the corrosion coupons should be of the same material as the pipeline and the isolation is achieved by using PTFE washers and inserts quite typically. Here we have a side-on view of the pipeline and you'll see that we can insert these corrosion coupons at different heights depending on the flow con conditions. For instance, we might have stratified flow where you'll see where we insert the third coupon here at the lowest point where we might want to sample the liquid. Once they've been exposed for a certain amount of time, say six months or three months, then they're corroded to a certain extent as shown here and we need to reweigh them. However, it's important that prior to reweighing, we have to clean the corrosion product from the sample, either by physical or chemical means. We then can reweigh them, calculate the difference in the weight, find out the material lost, and then calculate the corrosion rate.